G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the MLM2 Pro and E6 Connect. We have had an update on E6 Connect and now we have spin axis. So we're gonna jump in and take a look. So first off, I'm just gonna to connect to my MLM2 Pro. Now, as always, I am using the direct connect method. That means I'm using the Wi-Fi signal that the MLM2 Pro is emitting and I'm connecting my iPad to that rather than using my home Wi-Fi network as a bridge. I have found this way to be the most stable. However, for me, it's still not that stable. Okay, so we are connected. So let's jump in, we'll go to simulation. Okay, we've had a disconnect. Okay, so I just had to force close the app. I was in a little boot loop there, so I am gonna try and connect again. Okay, connection successful. So let's go simulation, third-party apps, E6 Connect. And that says connection successful, so we're gonna jump into E6 now. Okay, launching E6. Cool, and it does say we are connected. So let's go to the practice range. I'll add my profile. And we're just gonna to go to the driving range. We'll go to the flat range. And we're just gonna hit some six irons. So it says error, there we go, it's connected. Okay, and I've just had a disconnect trying to get this thing set up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out of this app completely, I'm gonna force close it, then I'm gonna log back into the Rapsodo app, connect up again and go through that whole process. Okay, so jumping back into the Rapsodo app and it's dropped the connection. So the, the actual connection from the MLM2 Pro to the Rapsodo app is what disconnected then. So I'm gonna go into connect, start a session, simulation, third party apps, E6 connect. Okay, hopefully it works this time. And I mean, this is the issue with this unit that I have personally. And I know other people don't experience as many disconnection issues as I do. Um, but for me, if I have a spare hour to come and hit golf balls in my garage, I spend a lot of the time trying to get this thing connected. And then I end up not being able to hit any golf balls. All right. So that looks like it's connected. Let's go to practice. We're going to head out just to the normal driving range. And like I said, I'm just gonna try and hit some six irons and hopefully we'll see some spin axis. Okay, it says error. And I mean, this, this is the biggest issue I have with this device. So I've got a blue flashing light now on the MLM2 Pro. So I'm just gonna quickly jump back into the app. It says app connection. Yes, I wanna to connect to third party app. Okay, so I should be able to go third party apps, connect E6, connection successful. All right, back into E6 and it has error. Let's exit round, we'll go back to the main menu, connect E6, connection successful. I'm not getting a message popping up saying that it's connected. Simulator MLM2 Pro. I'm just gonna force close the app and go through the whole process again. Back into the app for the third time now. Okay, device is connected. Practice. On to the flat driving range. Please connect. There we go, ready. Okay, we are ready to go. Okay, third time lucky. And what I'm gonna do now is get my six iron, I'm gonna hit some draws and some fades because apparently spin axis has been fixed. Okay, so let's start off with a couple of fades. Oh, not the best strike. Okay, it looks like it missed that one. There we go. Okay. We've had our first shot on E6 and we have spin axis. So let's have a look at that. So we've got uh, 7.5 degrees right spin axis, which is exactly what it felt like. We'll look at the data, we'll bring up the analyzer. 
So that one there started um, just to the right and then had the fade. So that is really cool. Let's try and hit another shot now. And I'm just gonna try and hit a draw. Beautiful, and look at that. We've got spin axis and it works. That's really cool. So I'll bring up the analyzer and look at that last shot. So that one there started to the right and then drew back. We've got negative 9.4 on the spin axis. So that's really cool. It looks like they have fixed spin axis for E6 and the MLM2 Pro. That's really good to see. Okay, let's just jump in now. Because we've got it connected, let's just jump in and play a few holes and just see how the spin axis goes. So we'll go to Stone Canyon, we'll go select holes, we'll play the first, the second, and we'll play the ninth. And let's go play three holes at Stone Canyon. Okay, par four. Let's just hit a decent drive down there. Oh, very stiff swing, but we are away. And it's down the middle. Perfect. And that one went pretty straight. Let's look at the, uh, the data. So we had a look at the total spin. That just shows you the, the speed was down. Um, we'll look at the analyzer there. We had a negative 5.5 spin axis, which is really cool. The golf ball started slightly right. So it just had a little draw to it. Perfect. And that's going to leave us 98 or 99 yards into this hole. So let's just hit a lob wedge. That should be close. Come on, little draw. Spin now. Perfect. Hopefully that gives us a one putt. Let's look at the data. Again, we had it start slightly right and have a baby draw, 10,000 RPM. And we've got a two putt. Second hole at Stone Canyon is a par five. We're gonna have to lay up. So I might just hit a three wood off the tee. Might even be a hybrid to be honest, but we'll hit a three wood. Should be drawing and it is, and that's perfect. Sit now, just gonna creep into that rough. Let's have a look at this shot. So that's perfect. We've got uh, started slightly right and it's got a negative 6.7 spin axis. We'll just quickly look at the data again. Uh, everything looks good there. The launch angle, the spin axis, the distance, everything looks good there. Okay, we have 246 to the hole. Now, I'm in the rough, so I'm gonna lose a bit of distance. But what I'm gonna to do to really show the spin axis off is I'm just gonna try and hit a slinging fade in there. So this should be a pretty big cut. Um, and hopefully this will show off the spin axis not really a shot that I'd try and play um, if I was trying to shoot a score, but uh, for the purpose of this uh, video, we'll just try and hit a big slinging cut. Okay, it is cutting. Not as much as I thought it would, but it is cutting. And that's actually gonna be a really good shot. So that's actually quite good. It's got back there about 30 feet from the hole. Now I did think that I cut that a bit more, but uh, three wood for me, it's, it's quite hard to hit a slinging cut. But I think I did have it moving left to right, which is, uh, you know, what I was trying to do. So that looks pretty much perfect. Spin axis works now, it's fantastic. Okay, and for the final hole, we'll just play this par three, 211 yards dead downhill. This is a tough hole. So what we'll do is we'll aim a little bit left. We'll aim at the pin, 210, but it's dead downhill. Let's hit an easy five iron. No, you know what? Let's hit a six iron and let's try and hit a hook because I want to show off this spin axis. So let's get a little slinging hook in there. We'll aim right and we'll get it drawing in. Massive draw. Didn't hit it good, but that should hook. Look at that. It is hooking, it's just gonna be short. And unfortunately that's gonna be short in the bunker. But let's look at the spin axis, there you go. Big slinging hook, negative 13 on the spin axis. And that's exactly what we wanna see. Okay, we do have a bunker shot. 39 feet, and this is where I wish the, um, 
E6 would just give it to you in yards. Okay, 39 feet, so that's 13 yards. We are on an upslope, so 13 yards. Let's just pop this up there and hopefully get up and down. Sit. Oh, that's perfect. A little bit of spin as well. Stay there. And again, good data. A lot of backspin. I didn't think it would rip back like that. But we've got a one part, so that's a par. All right, guys, so that's a look at E6 now. With the MLM2 Pro, we do have spin axis, so everything is working as advertised. Really happy to see this update. And also, my connection, once it got connected, seemed to be pretty stable. So I was happy with that as well. Please do subscribe to the channel. Looking at the data, 80% of the people who watch my channel aren't subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, then please subscribe. Hope you enjoyed that, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.